everyone, Wheeling Gardening here. Welcome to my channel. A little different here. Doing a voiceover after taping taping this video. Seems like when I bring out the uh, camera, all the dogs in the neighborhood start uh, barking. So um, I just decided not to talk and just go through the hive while I videotape it. But um, yeah, it was about time to get into the hive since I uh, installed the new Saskatraz B on the 13th and need to bring those frames together so there wouldn't be any Burke home and I was hoping that she was no longer in the cage. So she wasn't in the cage, although the bees are still clustered from the scent, I guess. Uh, it is the first frame I took out. I can't recall if this was a completely new frame when I put it in. But they're building up some comb, I think. It's a lot of activity, uh, especially around 4 o'clock. The bees really come in. And, um, yeah, that's the first frame. And I, I was kind of disappointed as I was, I was hoping to see you know, like a frame of cap brood. Took off some burke home. Um, didn't get stung. While well, I inspected the hive. And, uh, yeah, so there's the cage, and it was propolized to the frame. Came off one side. Stuck to that frame, and... I actually, when I went to take the frame off, uh, when I went to take the cage off, it fell to the bottom of the hive, and uh, the bees started. I don't know. I was I was pretty convinced that the bees were acting similar to when uh, prior to the 13th, when I thought there was no, you know, probably um, egg laying workers. So I was kind of uh, figuring that she was going to be dead on the bottom board. So I was already looking at the bottom board. And they were already like fanning wings and, and that sort of starting to roar. And I was pretty much convinced that they killed the queen, Saskatraz queen. So we've had some really strange weather. And, you know, it was approaching 80 degrees. I think it got up to 73. But we're having some 80 degree days this week. And I placed that frame outside and then they started really getting loud. So I did not see any eggs. Again, I saw on, on the one that I already placed outside, I think I saw two larvae. Which I said, oh, you know, here we go. There was another sign that I thought the queen was not accepted, and there was that lane workers again. So, go to put it back together. I figured, you know, this is it. I'm not going to be investing anymore, and hopefully, you know, catch a swarm this season. is the frame that uh, was original to the nuke. And lo and behold, at the last moment, I spot the queen and figured out how to get an arrow, a yellow arrow, so I couldn't figure out how to do the zoom. The pan and crop on the Sony, uh, well, Vegas Movie Studio software that I have. Version 11 was pretty old. So I put it all back together and I'm holding out hope that um, I can bait a couple of my Langstroth hives and with some lemongrass oil. All right, everyone. So you can see I almost gave up on that hive, but it has a, the queen is in there, but I don't think she's laying, so I don't know what's going on with that. But 
Uh, maybe I can hold out hope for catching a swarm. In Massachusetts, I think it's about the second week in June. But the next four days is going to be in the 80s. And uh, yesterday was 56. I don't think it got above 60. But uh, I'm going to hold out hope for a swarm. And I've got from Horizontal High these little um, containers that you fill up with lemongrass uh, oil. So I have some lemongrass oil, but I also have the Swarm Commander, so I'm wondering if I should take one. Because I have two Lanz, uh, Langstroff hives here. Maybe put Swarm Commander in. They both seem to smell like lemongrass oil. But, um, yeah, it comes with a little... If I can find it, what do I do with it? Here it is. Comes with a little dropper. Let me fill it up a little bit. I just read it somewhere. All right, so it says right on the tube here, half fill one or two tubes. Close attached inside trap. Just above entrance, attach inside trap. Just above entrance. Tubes hold smell six months. Reusable. So I'll fill one with lemongrass oil. Is the wren. Is that full? You just close it. Like that. It releases just the right amount, I guess. It's the porous plastic. The other one. I'll use Swarm, swarm Commander. And there goes the car alarm. Here we go. It's always something. So that's the Swarm Commander. I think I'll put that in this hive right here. So I took most of the frames out. And I'll press this into the wax foundation right here. Like that. And put that near the entrance. As we'll put that in for good measure. Where's my inner cover on this? I'll get to find that later. I'm gonna put this one in the other hive. It's the lemongrass oil. Into this one here. Take out some of these empty frames, I guess. So this is New England Gardening, thanks for watching.